Hello! <laughs> okay, so my friends Shuffle Tarot and Sanskrit Blue on YouTube both did a self-love spread with my deck. The Manifesting Your Greatness deck. And I thought... Why the fuck not? Okay, so here we go. I'm not going to edit this video. I'm busy. <laughs> okay, self-love. The self-love reading I'm going to do is from, I found it on Daily Tarot Girl. DailyTarotGirl.com with dashes in between. And self-love spread. And the first one you're supposed to pull is your relationship to yourself. Can you tell I'm like nervous? It worked for everybody else. And I read with my for them with them for me every day. This is like personal, like, you know, to put out there. It's kinda weird. Hold on. Nicotine. Okay, so relationship to self. What is my love relationship with myself? What? What is your relationship with yourself? Like, that's the actual question. Relationship to self. Okay, so shuffling. This is going to be a really long, boring video. I'm sorry. Relationship to self. What if it reveals I hate myself? It's terrible. Okay. What is my relationship with myself like? What is my relationship with myself like? I don't want to do this. All right. Ask for help. That's got to mean something. <laughs> yep. Right off. First bullet proof. Bullet. Well, second bullet point is be kinder to ourselves. So, yep. I love this deck. Yeah. All right. So to be kinder to ourselves, sometimes we have to ask for help. And I'm working on myself on a regular basis. So this card actually makes a lot of sense. It also refers to the Call Upon Angels card, which might mean... I don't have quite enough faith in myself yet, so I can re I can lean on angels if needed. You know what? In the book, okay. So I have resources and. Maybe I question a little bit my ability to get things done, which is bullshit. So I need to trust myself a little bit more and my instincts. You know what? I always should do that. That's what this whole thing is about anyway. Okay. All right. Okay. Relationship to self. Fair enough. Know you have resources, but believe in yourself a little bit more. <clears throat> Good. Fine. Moving on. Two. Admirable qualities, the parts of yourself that are easy to love. 
of so many. How many cards could I pull? <laughs> okay. I'm actually wearing blush. Can you believe it? All right, what is your relationship? Uh, the parts of myself that are easy to love. Admirable qualities. There's a little sun icon there. Admirable qualities. Well, yes, sure. Admirable qualities. <laughs> yeah. Stay the course. Mm, 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 mm. Stay it. Keep on going. Don't doubt myself. Keep on going. Love yourself. Stay the course. I got this. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Shit. Okay. All right. Oh, third one. Disowned self. Your shadow aspects. The parts of yourself that need more love and acceptance from you. Okay, what do I need to throw all of that? That's how I'm gonna phrase this. What do I need to throw all of that? At me, at me. What parts of me do I need to throw all of that? No, nothing really popped. Let me try it again. What parts, what aspects of myself do I need to throw love at what shadows need some more light. What shadows need some more light in me. Okay, let's see. It looks like a couple kind of want to pop. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take both of them. F the rules. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wait, what? Your shadow aspects of the part of yourself. Okay. So I pulled simplify and notice the miracles. I'm going to go to the book. Disown self. I notice the miracles. Let me go to the book. Sometimes I, uh... Okay. Related to the Believe You Are Magic card. Um, enjoy all the things that go smoothly and experience experience the flurry of all those little miracles. Um, I do try to notice the miracles, <clears throat> but my shadow side sometimes tries to shit on my rainbow side, and uh, it needs to shut the fuck up. And I think that I can uh, do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, simplify. Yeah. Uh-huh. Shadow sides. Okay. So, I'm going to tell a story about myself. Well, I have bad dreams about messy bathrooms or houses full of shit. Um, and I work with a hoarder on her dehoarding. But, so technically I'm like the guru, right? But uh, we live in a really small apartment. My husband and I love stuff. And, um, but it's a small apartment, but we realize we actually don't have that much stuff. But I do feel a little crowded in by my stuff. And the problem, I think is that I view this as a shadow side of myself. I try to be clean, I try to organize. I need to be a little bit nicer to myself in terms of living 
with stuff because I, I get mad at the hoarders. I get angry and I, it, because that I work with because it's stupid <laughs> and they have like too much shit. But I don't. I don't have too much shit. But I, I think that I try to... The, shitty side of myself tries to shit on the rainbow self and says, yes, you do. You do have too much shit. Well, no, I don't. So, fuck you, shadow side. Hmm. I don't know if I'm doing this reading right. Okay. Release. Number four. Release. Judgments and expectations that you need to release in order to be more loving to you. I think I just answered that one. I think maybe I pulled that one. I think my shadow self was probably actually the first one I pulled. Okay. See, I'm a card deck creator. <laughs> I'm not yet a card deck reader or a very good shuffler. Okay. Release. What do I need to release? What judgments and expectations would be good for me to release in order for me to love myself more? Ooh, judgments and expectations that you need to release, that I need to release in order to be more loving to me. Okay, nothing really popped there. Let me shuffle those again. Judgments and expectations I need to release. I already like said like two of them. Okay. Release, judgments, expectations. It's a great thing about my deck is it'll help you whether you want it or not. <laughs> and I'm making myself do this right now. I'm not in the right I'm not in the right mindset. Okay, this one poppy enough. Ooh, interesting. Mull it over. Okay, hold on. To the book. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Deadlines. It's it uh you know, I have never missed a deadline for anything. Self-promotion. You want to hire somebody that can work on outrageous deadlines to draw pictures and stuff? Me! Okay, so, even though I am a deadline killer and I crush it, <clears throat> um, I also make up deadlines for myself sometimes. And I'm an asshole to me, <coughs> and I, and I, and I struggle to keep remembering. This is a marathon. It's not a race. This is a career you're building, and um, you know it doesn't happen overnight. And uh, blah. So I probably need to release expectations, not of the outside world, but for me. My expectations of myself, I should be a little bit nicer of a boss to me because I'm a little bit of a dick to me. So I need to release the fact uh, that I'm not under the gun on a deadline. Most of the deadlines that I make are self-inflicted. <laughs> self-inflicted self-inflicted deadline. That's a band name. Hold on. Gotta, gotta call it. Hold on. We gotta write this down. Yeah, I apologize for the length of this video. Um, what did I say? Self-inflicted deadline. Yeah. Band name called it mine. Self-inflicted deadline. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, that totally makes sense to me. Thank you, Manifesting Your Greatness Oracle deck. Okay. Next one. More love. Something loving and nurturing that you can do for yourself right now. 
right now. Okay. I, all right. See, I just need to go to the post office and finish that thing. But <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to shuffle anyway. Here we go. More love. Something loving and nurturing that you can do for yourself right now. Something loving and nurturing I can do for myself right now. It's genius. Part of me thinks ice cream, but it does not agree with me. So that's a terrible idea. Some, <laughs> something loving and nurturing. Oh, nurturing that you can do for yourself right now. Right now. All right, hold on. Let's see if the deck's saying anything. Deck is saying nothing. Hold on. <laughs> okay. More love. Give me some more love, deck. Ancestors. Ancestors. Tell me what I can do to give myself more love because I feel like I'm giving myself kind of a hard time. Maybe I should be a little bit nicer to myself. Okay, I've got a couple cards here that seem to want to pop. Okay, uh, more love. Okay, uh huh. Move your body. Learn to defend yourself. Learn to defend yourself. Move your body. I've been thinking about dance a lot and how I need to get back into dancing. Um, you know what? That's that's the kind, nurturing, loving thing I can do for myself is dance. Holy cow! I've been thinking about that all night. I thought, put on my video that I love and dance it up. Move. Oh my god. And it's showing love to myself. Ah, of course it's showing love to yourself. To take care of yourself and move your body is showing love to yourself. Okay, this, yeah, all right. Sorry, mind blown a little bit. It happens a lot. Learn to defend yourself is an interesting one, too, because it, people, it, it's very similar to the take care of yourself card, in that, and people think the take care of yourself card is going to be something that it, it is not always. But this one is very much like protect yourself, Set boundaries. Make the bitches stick to the boundaries. Yeah. Um, forgive. Set boundaries. You can forgive people that don't really respect your boundaries, but you know, don't hang out with them, you know? So, I am going to show myself some love by not doing a bunch of other shit for other people today. Um, but, <clears throat> taking care of myself. So, I would like to thank Shuffle Tarot, Daily Tarot Girl, Sanskrit Blue, for kind of making me bully myself <laughs> into doing this. Thank you. I apologize for this being so long. It was like my first, like, this is my first, like, this is my first spread with this deck, actually. And, I mean, it, it's worked so great for everybody else, and I should have tried it myself, but I was kind of afraid to look at that one, because, uh, like I said, I'm pretty, um, you know, whatever. But I feel better, and I am going to dance. I'm going to post this. Dance and post office. Or post office and dance. Okay. Sending love. I believe in the manifesting your greatness. Oracle. It's never let me down. I'm not congratulating myself. I'm thanking my ancestors and my family and my friends. And everybody that supported me in making this deck. And, um and all the wonderful people that I'm meeting on this journey. And um, you all know who you are, and everybody that's supporting me, supported me. It means a lot. And have a good day. <laughs>